came to protest the way police treating all forms of male violence against women, and we came to protest the campaign that claimed that indoor prostitution is safe for women. Hi, good morning. My name is Summer Rain, and I work at Vancouver Rape Relief and Women's Shelter. Every day I work on the front lines of our rape crisis center and receive over 1,400 new calls from women each year who are looking to escape immediate forms of male violence or some form of, form of male violence in their lifetime. Out of those calls, we know that 70% of women who call us or more choose not to use the police. That number is even higher for Aboriginal women. Uh, formerly prostituted women, I was in prostitution for 15 years. Um, I really, and my organization I represent, um, are tired of women being called a high-risk lifestyle um, and the onus being put on them to defend themselves. Um, we also have problems with the way um, the whole thing has been dealt with thus far. Um, I mean, when Corey Monteith died, that we had toxicology reports within 48 hours. These women died and we still don't know why. We can only make assumptions, which is unfair to everyone involved. And we know that being indoors doesn't make prostitution safer. It was never the location we were in that was unsafe. It was the man we were in that location with that made it unsafe. And it was never the laws that beat and raped and killed me and my friends, it was men. And we need our laws to catch up to the fact that prostitution is a very real form of male violence against women and that it absolutely needs to stop. Um, my organization represents um, prostituted women who worked indoors, outdoors, um, on the stroll, off stroll, like all different um, genres and we all know that it, we were never safe. As soon as we were in alone with the man, we were all vulnerable to the violence that they can perpetrate in a moment. And it's ridiculous to think that we can somehow tell who's going to be violent or who's going to assault us. Um, I mean, women have been married to men for many years before they know that they're in an abusive relationship or that he strikes out. So again, we're fighting against the onus to be put on the woman uh, to, to be safe and to, and that somehow it's her fault. We need to be putting the onus where it belongs, which is on the men, and stand up to their poor behavior. What was your experience like, I guess, with police? I'm going back quite a ways, right? Like, I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> and it was quite a long time ago, so things have changed slightly. Um, back then, it was all our fault. We were arrested. We uh, were to blame for everything. And I think slowly the police are coming around. Um, there's a sex trade liaison worker now in, in Vancouver. I don't know about New West if they have one. I don't believe so. But I still think the unfortunate part is the police still think it's the woman's fault and they put the onus on the woman to keep them self safe um, and don't, aren't standing up to male violence, which is really what it is.